you are most welcome back again to the channel in this video we are going to be discussing the mirror periscope the mirror periscope so first the definition or the use of a mirror periscope so the mirror periscope is a device that is used for observing objects behind an obstacle so if you trying to observe an object and you are blocked by an obstacle then the technology you want to use is the mirror periscope at least this was a technology that was employed before the inception of uh, cameras so let's look at how the mirror periscope is so first you see that the mirror periscope is made up of a cardboard box or it can also be a metal box so this is our metal box or cardboard then inside it we fit two mirrors so this what you see here is a mirror let's call it mirror m1 then the we have a second mirror that is mirror m2 so you realize that we fit the mirrors inside the box in such a way that they are inclined at same angles now if you position the mirrors m1 and m2 and they don't have the same inclination then this mirror periscope is not going to work the way you expect so now let's look at how it is operated so you see our obstacle here so in the form of if you like a stone or something this uh, obstacle and this is the tree that we are trying to observe we are trying to look at this tree but it is blocked by this obstacle so what we do is that we would position the mirror periscope um, slightly over the obstacle so the observer stands at uh, let's say position a so the obstacle uh, the uh, tree is let's see at position b so what happens light rays from the obstacle uh, from the object we are trying to observe they are directed towards the mirror one so they will fall on mirror one then after incidenting on mirror one they are pushed back in this direction towards mirror two then from mirror two they are subsequently uh, reflected into the human what eye as we can see in the diagram and when this happens the observer at position a can see the tree from position b so you realize that in this construction we have produced our normal separating the incident ray from the reflected ray such that the angle there of 45 45 45 45 degrees for both mirrors m1 and m2 so this is basically how the mirror periscope operates light rays from the object will fall on mirror m1 then uh, mirror m1 also behaves like another source of light so the light from m1 is reflected into mirror m2 and mirror m2 also reflects its light onto in, into the eyes of the observer and the tree is observed now what are the uses so first it is used by short spectators to watch football match over the head of tall spectator so if you have a very tall spectator like this and you are short then this is the field so what you do is that uh, you position your mirror periscope above him light rays from the field would hit the first mirror m1 then it is reflected into the second mirror m2 and into your eyes then you can see so short spectators use it to observe or watch the football match over the head of tall spectators secondly the mirror periscope is used in submarines it's used in submarines to locate 
warships on the water surface when the submarine is submerged under water. So here you see this is our sub. The sub is submerged under water and this is our warship and it's approaching. But then the sailors of this warship um, for instance cannot see the submarine because the submarine is submerged underwater. It is under the water here. In contrast, because the submarine is equipped with mirror periscope, light rays from the warship they are directed onto let's see mirror M1. Then so they are instanted on mirror M1, then mirror M1 will reflect the light into the second mirror M2. Then the light is subsequently reflected into the eyes of the what? Of the observer. So that once the location is known, then a bomb or um, any kind of weapon can be directed in that direction to hit the warship. So there is a second importance or use of the mirror periscope. Then thirdly, um, we say that it is used by drivers of armored cars to locate approaching warships. So here we have two armored cars. We have A, we have B. So let's say the enemy is at A. Then the, the soldier in B, using his mirror periscope position well, can can actually locate the armored car A because light rays from the armored cars are directed. They are directed into the mirror periscope. So we have mirror M1 again. So mirror M1 will reflect the light onto mirror M2 here. Then finally, the light rays are directed into the eyes of the what? Of Zeva. And the uh, enemy warship is located and subsequently you'll be able to adjust yourself in order to be at an advantage. So this is the third use. Now let's look at uh, one more use. Drivers of double-decker buses also use the mirror periscope in order to locate uh, occupants at the top deck. So here you see that we have the top deck and we also have the bottom deck. So a driver at the bottom deck can see uh, occupants, can see uh, the top deck using a mirror periscope. So this is a, a mirror periscope. Light rays from the observers will hit mirror M1. Then mirror M1 will push or it will reflect the light into uh, it will reflect the light onto mirror what M2, and the light is subsequently reflected into the eyes of the observer, that is the driver in this respect, so that he will know exactly what is happening uh, on the top deck. So, in our next discussion, we are going to look at a refraction of light. So, I hope to see you next time. Try to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe now. Now, I mean. See you and goodbye.